All right, um, today, guys, I'm going to show you how to uh, make a video library of your games. And um, this way, it saves you a lot of time from downloading every game over and over and over every time you erase your hard drive or sometimes when you take it out, you lose your, your, your games. Or, you know, if you got to delete a patch, you got to delete your whole game, whatever. But uh, this will help you guys build your library and it'll save you tons of time on downloading and installing your game after. The first thing you're going to need is PS3 Proxy. Alright? You're going to need an IP address also, which we go to command prompt for. You want to type in IP config. Alright? That comes up. You want to look for IPv4 address, which is 192.168.0.101. Alright, others will vary, yours will be different, so don't worry about it, just use IP. You must have a router and your PS3 and computer on the same router for this to work. This number you will also install in your PS3 under your network settings. What you want to do is go to network settings and you want to choose custom in your PS3. Slide all the way over to proxy, slide down, or sorry, go over to proxies, go down, or and select proxy, use proxy. Once you, once the next screen comes up for the proxy server, you want to enter the same number you did right here 192.168.0.101. Like I said, yours will vary, so you want to enter the same numbers in here in the PS3. Alright. Just to show you that I have them set up. It should look like this once you're done. Alright. And you notice it says proxy server use 192.168.101 same as that. Alright. So the next thing you want to do is go to your PlayStation Store. Actually, so I'll show you this right now. Game data. You notice that there's only Modern Warfare 2 in there. Go to PlayStation Store. You are, I'm going to go to a game that I already bought. It only works for bought games that games that you already bought. It does not. It's not going to work if you download it off someone else and try install it and you and you didn't pay for it or you're not under account alright so what I'm gonna look for is my COD4 Alright, there it is. I clicked that. Uh, I messed up here. Sorry, after you get this far, you want to highlight it. You want to click start. And uh, make sure none of these are checked. Just do that. Come here. Go to replace file. Delete that. And delete that make sure they're blank all right and the next thing you want to do is I got my proxy right here fall asleep there I got my proxy running so I click on this and links should start popping up in your proxy server if it's done right there we go stop your download Click yes, cancel it. Um, you can left click it, it'll bring up, you can save your game. Or you can get a program, I have Instant Download Manager, which, a, which is a download manager. It'll increase your speed of downloading files by a lot. Um, uh, since I got my download manager, I just right click, and then, uh, there's already one file there. 
and I don't want to overwrite it, but it just shows I downloaded it already. And um, hold up, actually. I'll just add a duplicate with a number of files. Just, I don't know. I screwed up just in case. Click OK. Now I just download the video. Alright, it takes a while, but uh, like I said, I already got it, so I'll cancel it. Um, it's right here. 366 megabytes, which is the exact same as what's in there. 357. Alright, once you do that, you want to copy this link. Copy it. And every time you download it, guys, it has to be the link that you download from, that you got this from. It can't be, I can't use this link and then download another game. It has to be the same one. Alright, so I want to go to Replace Files, and I want to right click and paste that there. Here, I want to go to look for my Call of Duty 4, which is right here, which is the same game that's in the back there. You want to click Open, go back to your log file, and I'll bring this up for us. Alright. Even if I downloaded it, it still would take me a good while to download this map. So, this is basically downloading from my computer because it's already saved on my computer. So, all I want to do is click on that, click on add on. If you did it right, <laughs> you'll, you will get this. And uh, there's no way my computer, my internet, is that fast to download 58 megabytes in. Uh, that little bit of time. So I don't know if you, anybody has fast enough internet to do that, but I sure don't. It would take uh, me up to five minutes to download a file. This took 30 seconds roughly. All right, it's done. Let it install. And uh, let's see if I can show this to you guys while it's doing this. I back out. I got, like I said, I got all my Call of Duties 1, 2, 3 for World of War, Stimulus Pack, uh, Resurgence Pack, uh, Call of Duty 4 Map Pack, which is the one I'm doing right now. And it should be done right away. But yeah, like I said, you make a folder, put your games in it, and it's just a backup of your games, so if you ever have to install them, instead of downloading them all over again, which could take a while, you could just easily do this. Uh, okay, it says it's good. Click that. Yes. And just at the beginning, I showed you that there was no Call of Duty 4 game in here. And uh, there it is. Information. And it's there. All right. So that, like I said, guys, it's it's perfect for backing up the games. Enjoy it. Have fun with this. Um, it's good for the movies also that you 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 could buy movies, and you can use that link to download them instead of using your PS3 and download them right to your computer, and uh, keep them, store them on a terabyte hard drive or something. Or, but yeah, it's good for making a movie library like that. Uh, perfect for that so but enjoy guys have fun with this and uh, I got another tutorial coming up for those guys who like to format their hard drives and how to do it real quick alright later